Hey everybody, it's Vitaly over at OG Gamer Red Barn Productions, and I'm back. And uh, in our previous video, the uh, GM MDI clone, I had said that I was expecting a Tech 2 clone to come in, and it's here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just unbox it right quick and, and see what's all in here. Uh, now, it's not clearly marked which side is up. But I'm going to open it in what should be the upright. It doesn't matter which end I choose. It'll be the wrong one. But we're just going to do it this way. Now, I haven't even looked at it yet. I'm, I'm literally just looking at it right now. And let's see. Manufacturer information, all the different connectors that you'll need for different vehicles. Extremely heavy duty OBD2 cable. There's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? That's a candy interface. Oh, it came with the power supply. It did not say that it came with one, but there it is. That is nice. This is probably the candy melt. Let's go ahead and get the main unit out. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All the stickers uh, cigarette lighter or 12 volt power spot for the vehicle uh, the only problem with this is my computer does not have a 9 pin serial port I am going to have to buy an adapter it comes with quite a bit of stuff for the money. That's for the loop back right there. That is the candy module and oh my. There's the TIS 2000 software. If only I had a CD drive, right? <laughs> Uh, I do on my laptop, though, so that's not a big deal. Another uh, power cord where you can clip it to the battery terminals and, and, and power it that way. We're going to just leave all that in here for right this minute. Because what I want to look at is the main unit today. The only thing it didn't come with is the, the uh, molded case. That is a big unit. Now keep in mind that uh, back in the day this was meant to be a standalone computer. It's uh the technology is over twenty years old, but believe it or not, this is what GM is still using today. Along with the MDI two. Oh.
power it up. Let's see what we end up with. Force of that light right there too bright. Yeah, let me turn that light down while that's booting up. Well, I'm surprised. Let me uh, get everything sorted out and then we'll be right back. Okay, I am back, everybody. It's actually been a couple of days since I started the video, but the weather's been bad, and I thought that I'd better get in here and get the end of this video made and get it up. Uh, I took this out to the car and hooked it up, and unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that, but I did uh, run, run it through its paces, uh, diagnostics, and uh, uh, dug deeper into some of the control modules and, and did module testing and stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool. And I don't have a script, so uh, I'm kind of at a loss at how to word this. If you have the GM MDI, you do not have to have the Tech 2. However, if you don't have the actual Tech 2, uh, you're going to have to be paying for a subscription every time you use that GM MDI. <coughs> But there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the uh, Tech 2 and the included uh, TIS 2000 software, provided that you have a computer that will run it. Uh, I don't have a computer uh, with anything less than Windows 10 on it. So I'm thinking that I might just create me a uh, virtual machine over on my server. Uh, I've actually got a, a server over in the closet. I don't. And I might just the. Uh, try and bring that up later and see if we get that going. Uh, one of the other things is in order to hook this to your computer, you have to either A, have a computer that has an RS-232 serial port, or you're going to need a uh, 232 to USB adapter. So I've ordered one and uh, it'll be here Thursday. But I also seen the RJ45 to U to USB cable, so I ordered that because I want to see if this will actually work with the, the Tech 2, and we'll uh, get more into that uh, on the next video. Because by then these cables will be here, and we'll find out if it works or not. I guess it would help if I remember to push stuff up. This is what I'm talking about here on the the adapters and the, and the cables and stuff. And they'll be here Thursday. So I, I think this will be a good place to just wrap up the video for now. Uh, I would like to have uh, shown this in action doing diagnostics and stuff. Unfortunately, it's been raining. It's cold. It's wet. It's really nasty here. And I do not have a shop. So we're just waiting for the weather clear up. And uh, it'll probably work out because the, the weather should start clearing up next weekend. So hopefully we'll have a, a video next weekend. Uh, until then, this is Vitaly over at OG Gamer, Red Barn Productions. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay dry, and y'all stay warm. And I'm out of here.